Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. A new trailer could be right around the corner for the Indigo Disc DLC. We also have some new leaks and updates to go over for the alleged Nintendo Switch 2. There's a lot of things to break down and get into today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content, ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's take a look at this new alleged trailer. So we have Light here tweeting out saying, who wants fresh news about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? A hidden video is in the Spanish Pokemon channel, also in the English channel. So basically, if you aren't aware, on the English Pokemon YouTube channel in the Scarlet and Violet playlist, there's been a hidden video for quite a while now. We thought that it was going to be for uh, for the Teal Mask DLC when that dropped. It was going to be an overview trailer because it kind of appeared around the same time as I think the Poltergeist video. Um, so basically, yeah, we thought that was just going to be an overview trailer for the Teal Mask DLC. And when the DLC dropped, this trailer was just going to drop as well. And then we were just going to get like, just kind of like promoting the DLC. But that did not drop. So we haven't really thought too much since about that. Because it's just literally been a hidden video in the playlist. No video has been deleted or anything like that. So this is why this video was like so random. But now, since uh, like a couple of days ago or yesterday, um, there is a now a hidden video in the Spanish Pokemon Scarlet and Violet uh playlist so not only that it's also in the japanese one as well this is the information as you can see in the spanish trailer uh in the spanish playlist should i say there is a new hidden video so this could potentially be a new trailer for the indigo disc dlc again it doesn't look like it's going to be coming out in november because we probably would have had a trailer in october for it again this could be like this week i, I you don't know or next week you don't know um i still think it's going to be mid-december when the indigo disc drops and so this trailer may like the fact that it's a hidden video though it's not like the playlist has been updated when the playlist just get like updated it doesn't really matter but when there's a hidden video that is a video that is hidden it's not available to us and that usually is a good indicator of a new trailer which is why when we see a hidden video it's like okay potentially time to get excited because it could be a new trailer and we've not had an indigo disc trailer you know for a while now so hopefully this is an indigo disc trailer and this does give us the release date and probably paradox ente paradox terrakion stuff like that i don't know what else they would show without like spoiling a ton of stuff even though everything has been kind of like data mined now um but either way you know, this could be uh this could be something it could be nothing it could be something because like i say the english one isn't a massive surprise because that's been in there for a while but now that it's being added to like the spanish playlist and also like the japanese one as well we've got julian here saying i saw it on monday but it's on the japanese channel so now that a hidden video is also getting added two different like playlists that that's why it's kind of like sparked our interest in being like oh hang on this could actually be something so take that with obviously a massive grain of salt it, it could be something it could be nothing i'm just reporting on it for you guys um but yeah hopefully we can get a new trailer soon for the uh for the indigo disc and dlc so that's that part of the video let's move on to some new juicy nintendo switch stuff um now this has all just been reported recently on the 20th of october this first one was posted by my nintendo news so leaker claims the switch 2 will feature ray tracing reconstruction dls uh dlss 3.5 plus two models at launch um, so we've we've spoken about this a little bit previously about the two models at launch where one was going to have like backwards compatibility and the other one wasn't and I was like well everyone's just going to go for the one with backwards compatibility because like why wouldn't you um, but either way this is the the post about this new information so known leaker nate the hate is back with some more uh, interesting nintendo switch 2 rumors it is hard to discern how reliable his sources are speaking in a new youtube video he goes on to say that the switch 2 will feature the following some form of ray tracing or reconstruction and that it'll have support for the image upscaling solution dlss3 he also mentioned that the Switch 2 will come in two different models, possibly one which supports physical and digital games, and a second which would be a cheaper digital-only uh, model. Obviously, that's exactly what like the PlayStation 5 did when that um, came out. We had the discless version and then the, the, the one with the disc tray. And uh, yeah, the discless version was cheaper. But I think on the long, like in the long run, it's going to be more expensive because when th that means you can only buy games like online on the store or like with codes and stuff and uh, on the store the games are always like the maximum price 
Whereas physical editions of the game, you can get cheaper on like different retailers online. So yeah, the, the console initially will be cheaper, but by the time you've bought like five games, the price difference will probably like add up and it will become more expensive than the one if you just got like the disc tray or whatever it's going to be on the Nintendo Switch 2. So that's why I would always go with the physical one, but you know, it's each to their own. Some people don't like having physical copies and stuff, which is obviously why they would go digital, but on digital, you're basically always paying the max price. Um, so yeah, both Microsoft and Sony have done the same with the Xbox Series and PlayStation 5 consoles to bring pricing down. So it is not out of the realm of possibility. Nintendo has yet to comment on its uh, enviable successor to the now aging Nintendo Switch family of systems. So yeah, it's looking more and more likely there are going to be two consoles at launch for the Nintendo Switch 2, which again, is cool because it gives us more of a choice and stuff. But obviously the last time we covered this like multiple console thing, like it was talking about one not having backwards compatibility which is obviously a massive thing um so yeah one console not having that would obviously be not nowhere near as purchased as much as uh, the one that does have backwards compatibility so that's the first nintendo switch thing to go over the next one is this post here by my nintendo news now this isn't a leaker this is doug bowser saying this so this is why this is actual legit information so doug bowser says uh nintendo accounts will bring about a smooth transition to the next uh to the next platform so this is the information about this this is in a recent interview with him i do believe so doug bowser uh, doug bowser says nintendo accounts will bring a, a, about a smooth transition to the next platform so we finally got an account system with the nintendo switch family of systems nintendo account which ties all your digital switch purchases to your account something that both sony's playstation and microsoft's xbox have had for years um, but Inverse managed to catch up with Nintendo of America's president, Doug Bowser, to talk about a range of topics. One thing to note is how Nintendo plans to handle smooth transition between the Nintendo Switch and its successor. Now that's where Nintendo accounts will come in. So this is uh, the question. So as we have discussed, the Switch has had a long lifespan and a huge install base. How, when you consider the idea of a successor to the Switch, do you think about helping those people who are on the console transfer to the next platform while reassuring them that the content and investment in the Switch will somehow transfer to its successor? I mean, this also kind of goes into hand in hand with the whole backwards compatibility thing because all of the games that you bought digitally on your Nintendo Switch, you'd like to think will be available to play on the next console. It's what the PlayStation's done and everything like that. So it'd be a bit unfortunate if that wasn't the case. We then have Doug Bao that this is his actual reply saying, well, first I can't comment or I won't comment i should say on the rumors that are out there so obviously this is him saying you know i'm not commenting on the nintendo switch 2 even though it's like we know it's on its way obviously he's not allowed to talk about it until it officially gets revealed he's not going to just in this random interview be like yeah it's on its way because you know be very bad <laughs> either way they say uh but one thing that we've done with the switch to help with that communication and transition is the formation of the nintendo account in the past every device we transitioned to had a whole new account system creating the nintendo account will allow us to communicate with our players if and when we make a transition to an app i, lo I love the fact that he says if <laughs> and then he says and when we make a new transition to a new platform to help ease that process or transition so our goal is to minimize the dip you typically see in the last year of one cycle and the beginning of another. I can't speak to the possible features of a new platform, but the Nintendo account is a strong basis for having that communication as we make the transition. So he's basically confirming here that the N Nintendo account is going to be staying on the next console you know obviously he's not out here saying we're definitely getting a nintendo console another one because he can't say that but we are going to be you know he says if we do get one we are keeping the nintendo account which is good because it is just like a massive hub of all of your nintendo stuff and it's just useful to be able to like sign into um on the new console and stuff so that's really nice to know again we're not sure if this is also going to be bringing with it all of the uh the, the games that you would have bought on the nintendo um eShop and stuff like that we'll have to wait and see but uh well, you know we're getting closer and closer to the end of the year and so hopefully we do get some sort of announcement for the nintendo switch soon but um yeah this is like legit information this is coming from doug bather himself this is like leaker information from nate the hate but uh yeah it, it, like this is multiple sources now saying we're going to get two consoles at launch um and so yeah that, that's definitely something i could probably see on the cards now but either way that's going to be everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please do consider hitting the like button down below it's trying to 500 likes it does really help out leave a comment with your thoughts on a potential trailer do you think these hidden videos mean that we're going to get a new trailer soon uh, what would you like to see in the next trailer for the indigo disc dlc again for me release date paradox ente paradox terrakion 
Um, and then maybe, I don't know, Serapagos' third form, maybe some Dokutara stuff, something like that, maybe. Maybe even Aplin's, uh, Diplin's final evolution. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. And also, let me know your thoughts on all of the latest Nintendo Switch 2 stuff as well. Um, which version would you get if there was a discless one or a, a disc tray version? Which one would you get out of those two? And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on all that. But yeah, that's everything from me. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. Have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace.